This is the plaintiff, Jola Malik. She says the defendant got her a tent which fell down and broke, so she had him return it to the place he purchased it. When she asked for her money back, he told her he would send it to her when he got it from the store. Turns out the guy tried to pocket her money, claiming the store never paid him. But she has proof they did and is suing this liar for the $1,205 he owes her. This is the defendant, Kendrick. He says the plaintiff went around telling everyone he was a thief and a liar, and she tried to ruin his good reputation in the community. So he said the heck with her and made her wait for the tent refund. He helped the plaintiff with her restaurant for months during COVID. She didn't pay him a penny, and if anyone's owed money today, it's him. He's accused of stealing. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,500 for loss of income and pain and suffering. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says she is sick and tired of being ripped off by the defendant who owes her money and simply won't pay. But the defendant says he was helping this lady out. She made up false things about him and has ruined his good reputation. It's the case of it takes a thief. Thank you, Douglas. You're okay, Ms. Malik, you are uh, suing on behalf of Piggy's Cafe, Mr. Kendrick and his business, for $1,205 and a refund for a tent. Tell me what happened here. Uh, yes, about um, mid um, to late March 2020, uh, a group of us had gone out for uh, an afternoon, and I had mentioned that I needed a tent for a uh, because of COVID in our back space. And um, he had mentioned that he worked for Lowe's and that he could get one and use his discount. Okay. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. Thank you. All right. Now, how do you know him? Um, from him coming into the restaurant. He's been a patron of the restaurant for how long? Uh, a couple months before that happened. Uh, I would say, I don't know, maybe... That happened in March, so maybe like December or January. Okay, and according to you, Mr. Kendrick, how long have you been a patron of Piggy's Cafe? I've been a patron of Piggy's Cafe for multiple years before she even started or before she even took over the place when, uh, um, unfortunately, our dad passed away. So okay. I was I would go to the restaurant and I was hosting karaoke events and um, what have you, and there's a guy named Victor who was the host of the, the events. And um, he, when he was not there, I would fill in and I would be there uh, to host in the karaoke events. And her father and I were actually very close. All right. So he mentions that he works for Lowe's and he could get it or he has a discount at Lowe's. You say that's great. And then what happens? Um, he said he searched for a tent and found the tent um, and it was four hundred dollars. So I sent him the four hundred dollars that said, thank you. You know, that's great. I can't believe it. Um, he said it'll take a couple of weeks to get in. Blah, blah, blah. But then I guess when it came in, he said it was plastic and it wouldn't work. So he tells so you this one he, won't um, work and he tells decided, you it's going to be you know, another what, $800? Yeah, $800 okay. because of shipping and uh, handling and the tent was more expensive. So it came out to 12 did he show you a picture of the tent or did did you see it online or anything? He uh, sent he sent me a picture of it. Yes. He tells you it's 1205. You pay him 1205 and then what happens? You get the tent mm -hmm. when? I get the tent in uh to the end of April. I have it or I have it put up in May and then it falls down. Um well it snap it was bending. So then one day it just completely... When like, is the one day that that happened? It was August, the end of August. Okay. And... So I called him and I asked him, if you have the receipt, I'll bring it all to Lowe's. And he's like, oh, I bought it from Overstock. And I was like, oh, even better. They take chewed gum back, you know? <laughs> like, they take everything back. <laughs> but they, so he, they... You know? Okay, so, so go ahead. <laughs> You know, I asked him if he wanted help with the process of doing it. He said, no, he'll take care of it. Sent me an email from them saying that by the 22nd of September, I, I would have the refund back. 
And then um, on the 22nd, when I asked him, he said he didn't have it yet, that I had to wait and be patient like he was. And then it was, then his card got compromised, and then he didn't feel like giving it to me. What then do you I mean was he didn't mean, feel uh, like giving it to you? Tell me that. Part. I don't know. He texts that I was a mean, ugly old lady. <laughs> I saw mean. I didn't see uh, ugly. Hold on one second. Okay, now this is a picture of how it broke, correct? Yeah. Yep. All right, so what happens, Mr. Um, Kendrick? Let me hear from you. Why hasn't she received her 1205 back from over? Okay. Go ahead. It took me two and a half months to find this tent. We spoke Why? about this in March. Because because there were none available. That one tent that I got from Overstock, that was the only tent available. And if anybody in this whole state tried to find its tent, they would not be able to because find it. Because it was all out that of stock the, because of COVID? No, well, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it was because of COVID or just shipping issues or manufacturing issues, but that was the only tent available. Okay. And it did take me two and a half months to find that tent. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm, I'm working for this woman. And um, so once I get How the tent- How are you working for um, her? Wait, when you say working for this woman, you mean trying to find the tent? At the beginning of her opening that restaurant, when, when it opened back up after her father passing, she ended up taking the restaurant over. All right. I went into this restaurant and I've done this with four different restaurants in this state. Okay. I, I do. This is what I do. I'm, I, there's only about four or five promoters that are really good out here. And I'm one of them. And I, and I pride myself on that. So I've gone to four different restaurants and I will go for three weeks with my lady and um, test out and see how it is. Um, there was no one going to that restaurant. There was no events. There was no karaoke. And it would be like one off events once a month, once every other month. It wasn't really steady traffic going in that restaurant. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I do for businesses. I've, I helped over 200 small businesses. I'm totally confused. With, with did she hire However, you to do that? Mm -hmm. Were you hired as a promoter for the restaurant? Yes or no? I was hired to do karaoke. Okay. okay. And I was uh, and, and, and I did I did my karaoke nights and I also would do my mini mall shops there. I have the biggest DJ in Connecticut who does um, he does my events. He does okay. my mini mall events with me. Okay. So I was I did that and I was bringing a lot of attention and a lot of business to her. Okay. All right. Um, so that's that's how this all came about. So she decided to ask me to get the tent. She gave me the three hundred and some some odd dollars at first, and I sent her the exact amount. Once I told her, hey, this the is not going to work. The tent that you ordered from um, Lowe's yeah. cost how much? At Lowe's, three eighty nine and some change. I can't remember the exact amount, but it was. So you it was weren't around making any money on that tent. I was not making money on okay, that tent. Okay, go on. So when um, I realized that that wouldn't work, I stumbled on Overstock and I finally found the very last tent that they had left. All right, I sent her how much it was going to cost. I'm like, so you already gave me this. I already have that aside. So you know, just it's going to be this much extra. She sent it with no problem. I bought the tent right away. Okay, okay, how much did that Happy tent cost you? It, it, so I I was able to look online and find like coupons and discounts for Overstock just so I can make something out of all the work that I was doing. So I found some coupons. Did she know the, the you were making money off of the work that you were doing? No. Was the tent 1205, but then with coupons it was less? It was eleven ninety three or something like that. All right. Yeah. So the the stock price is eleven ninety three. That's what you showed her, and then you ended up with coupons, and you got the price lower, and then you decided I should get something for my for my troubles, and I'm going to pocket the rest. All right. So go on. And the, and one of the main reasons is while we were conversing, um, she she couldn't have it shipped to her restaurant, so I had it shipped to my mother's house, which is about seven or eight blocks away. So. The thing goes to my mother house, who's 60 years old. She's pulling these boxes in, and they're huge Are you boxes. trying to imply She's that 60 years old is old? No, 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 I no. I should hope she, not. But I, I assure you she's not. She's, she's very <laughs> capable. However, those, those boxes- I don't like your tone. Are, 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> those, those boxes, I apologize. Those, those boxes, you know, you know, 70 to 100 pounds each. So I was carrying those boxes Are you guys in, friends and, at this um, point? Like, is she under the impression um, that you're- no. You're her friend and you're helping her because you offered and all that? Yes, I w that we, we were doing it. This is, this is me being a friend, all right? And um, that, that's what happened. And then all summer, she used this tent. Did you keep and, the tent, um, uh, Ms. Malik, did you keep the tent up all summer? We did. Okay. So you got yeah. your use out of the tent we and then the summer's over. It's August. Well, I guess the summer's pretty over. Uh, it's August when you say, I want my money back because this thing broke. And... 
Go ahead. I didn't really say it like that. I said, let me see if I could get it back. Let me see if I can get something back. Maybe they can give us poles that broke, the poles that caved in. I don't know. Let right. me take it to Lowe's. I won't get you involved. I'll do it on my own. And what did and, he say? Um, he said he didn't get it from Lowe's. I'm like, oh, okay. He said he bought it from Overstock. So then when you return it, Mr. Kendrick, did they give you your money back? So, uh, yes, I returned it, and they sent it to my Cash App card. Okay, so right? what did they return? And they returned 900 and what? 973.86. What day did they return that? The refund came September 29th. Okay. I remember it came September, September 29th. because I, I had called Overstock, and they sent me, they actually sent me the receipt of when it was deposited on September 9th. But you're texting her saying you need to be patient like I'm being patient when the money had already been returned. So why is that? When you see that deposit, it took them two, it took them a couple of weeks for that to drop into my account. In between then, I was getting calls and text messages from other promoters and from friends of mine and from bartenders that work for her telling me that she is bad mouthing me, calling me a liar and a thief. And um, I got I got um, diagnosed. Well, it was I, I have a tumor in my stomach and I'm sorry uh, it to was hear that. said to be cancer before I figured out what was going on. The whole time I'm out of work and I was very, very sick because we didn't know what was going on. She's telling people I'm lying about being sick. I'm faking it. And um, I, just basically saying I'm a liar. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to understand to why I, I, there's there's only two possible avenues here. Either you return 973.86 or you return 1205. Where is the avenue where you return nothing, which is what you did? I'm going to be honest. I said every week that I keep hearing people keep talking about me, you're gonna wait. I have the money, I'm not, I have it, but you're gonna wait because you're being so rude and mean to me. And I lost a lot of business behind it, all right? I had two very, very successful events and they are, they already happened, you know, in the, in the past. Um, and I was supposed to be on those events. I lost out on at least $500,000 on both of those events. Well, you and right? that's the basis of your counterclaim for pain and suffering and loss of income, but how are you gonna prove that? I mean, I, I, the only way I could prove it is to get the promoter himself and let him talk to you. <laughs> you know, that's the only way that would happen. And now um, him and I have a, a iffy relationship behind what's going on here. OK, but you would have to prove that in order to get me to order her to pay you money for loss of income. You'd have to actually come in with proof that you lost the income. That's you can't just say it. Um, so you end up you're angry so you don't refund anything. Is this business or isn't it? Like I said, um, she's looking for, she was looking for 1205 and I kept telling her it was 973. She didn't, she didn't want that. And she said, I'll see you in court. Okay, so now you tell me, when did he first tell you it was 973, Ms. Malik? Were you surprised to hear that it was 973? I was very surprised because Why? he had told me it was 1205. So then how um, did you I learn that. that it was going to be so, 973 or that he had only paid 973? When um, Overstock sent me the email saying what was refunded and I asked why he charged me 1205 and he said, oh, that was because I did all the looking for the tent and all that. I was like, wait a minute, no. I never agreed to any of that. Like I never agreed I to pay you a finder's fee. You were doing this no, as a friend. No, I would have done it myself. You if lied it was to me overstock. and told me it was twelve oh five, and now it turns out you got a discount, and you didn't pass that on to me. And here's the thing, though, Mr. Kendrick, you know you got to pick your poison here. And if your if your premise is, well, I get to keep that. She agreed to that price, and that's what I get. That. Is that your premise? Is this a business deal? She agreed to it. So I, I'm allowed to say 1205, right? Correct. Well, then when she returns a tent because it's broken, how is it not still a business deal? And how do you not st have to return the 1205? The problem comes when the thing breaks and she wants her money back, and now she's not going to get the 1205. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of the $1,205, the loss of income and pain and suffering. I am ruling against you. That's my verdict. All right. So the plaintiff prevails. She's going to get the twelve hundred five dollars back that she had given to the defendant, Mr. Kendrick. How do you how do you feel about this? Um, you know, uh, I'm okay with that. It is, you know, um, I was I planned on giving her the nine seventy three eighty six, but and it, it was held off because she was looking for more than that. So you know, and the ju the judge made a ruling. I don't go against that. Okay, uh, Ms. Malik, you know, I'm interested in one thing. You put the tent up in May, 
you used it all of June, July, and August, and then you, you want to send it back and get a full refund. Is that fair to, to use it no, like I that for three months? No, I want to get a full refund. That's not, the, that's not what happened. I wanted to see if I could get the pole that broke. And when I found out it wasn't bought from where he told me it was being bought, purchased, yeah. then I yeah. realized that Overstocks takes everything back or they'll send you the pieces that broke. You never asked for the pieces, though, from Overstock, apparently. Is that right? I didn't do the um, I didn't do the refund. He did. All right. Well, congratulations. You're going to get your money. So, Doug, look, there are two elements to every lawsuit, liability and damages. If you prove that somebody lied about you, um, then you can sue them for defamation. It typically has to cause some kind of scorn and ridicule. But even if you can prove that, then you have to prove damages that you lost money as a result of the lies. In this case, the defendant fell short. A person passed away. He had a leased BMW. The executor provided all required paperwork to BMW Financial. BMW refuses to pick up the car. Does the executor still have to pay the lease? If you lease a car, you are the lessee, what they call in the law, the lessee of the car. If the lessee dies, that car now becomes an obligation of the estate. If you have a year left on the, on the lease, chances are the estate, if there's money in it, is going to still be liable to pay those monthly payments or to pay an early termination fee and try I mean, That's to what it. I would do. If I was the executor, I would, I would take the right. car to BMW and say right. this is a voluntary surrender. There's going to be a, right. uh, early termination fees involved, right. but you cut your right. losses. Plus, they'll probably whack you for wear and tear and all the other stuff they'll that goes along with it. But, but, but the, so the obligation persists even though right. the person died. Now, I used to work in an installment loan department. That was one of my first jobs, mm -hmm. uh, including at one point because I had such a deep voice. Bill they made collector. Me, they made me the repo man right. on the phone because I was very so. threatening on the phone. I, I weighed 100 pounds and I was 18 <laughs> years old, so they didn't let just, me do it in not person. Just threatening on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I know there was an insurance that some people could buy that right. would terminate their loan obligations upon death. And... Um, so unless you have, if right. I croak insurance. Right. Or, yeah. or unless the lease speaks directly to it and says, oh, by the way, if you die, you just have to pay three months and surrender it or something. Right. Like that. I suppose. But otherwise, possible. obligations yeah. of the person who passed continue to be obligations right. of that person's estate. That's it for this session of the People's Court. We'll see you next time.